Hey YouTube, Pipelore here again uh, with another subject for an interview. This is Mr. Josh Sarkella of Miami Cigar Company. Thank you, Josh, for, for being on the program. Thanks the channel. for having me. I appreciate that. Um, you're here uh, as a rep? Yes, I'm a sales company. representative of uh, Miami Cigar and Company. Uh, Miami Cigar and Company is based in Miami, Florida. Been uh, in operations for 20 years. They actually just had their 20th anniversary. And uh, we are a distribution company, but we also have our own products that, uh, that we uh, produce ourselves. Uh, do you have a website? Uh, yes, we do. Miami Cigar Company website and also Nestor Miranda Cigars, which is Nestor is the owner of Miami Cigar Company. Um, he has just come out with his own cigar in the past year. That is this cigar here, the Nestor Miranda Special Selection. Um, Let's get a close-up of that. Let's see here. And this is the 20th anniversary version, which was a limited edition cigar. Uh huh. He is making this cigar in conjunction with Papin Garcia. Uh, Papin produces this cigar for us. It is a wonderful cigar. Uh, it's a Nicaraguan wrapper. Uh, it has a uh, Nicaraguan, Honduran, Dominican blend, and it is just a phenomenal cigar. Sounds like a spicy smoke. Yeah, it's got a little bit of spice to it. There's two different wrappers. There's a Rosada wrapper, and there's also an Escuro wrapper. The Rosada tends to be a little bit smoother, a little bit more in the medium body version, and then the uh, Escuro wrapper goes more to the full bodied side. Now, do you carry other, I, I don't want to say brands, but I mean, do you carry other lines with Yes, them? we do. We, uh, we're the exclusive distributor of uh, La Aurora, the oldest Dominican cigar company. They've been in business since 1903, and many people know the La Aurora Preferidos, which is a higher end cigar uh, produced with only premium, premium tobaccos. Uh, one roller is one roller only rolls a certain cigar, so the Maduro cigar is rolled by one single roller, not a group of rollers as most cigars are produced. And the other brands that we distribute are EO brands, which is the Cubao and also the 601 and Mi Barrio mm -hmm. and the new Murcielago, which has just been released at the trade show this year. Cubao is a phenomenal cigar. This cigar has rated in the 90s six times in Cigar Aficionado, and it actually rated in the 90s five issues in a row. That's unheard of for a single cigar. Uh, seven different sizes. It's an Ecuadoran Sumatra wrapper. This is also produced and made by Pepin Garcia. Uh, construction is just second to none. Everything's triple capped. This is a great cigar. If I don't have one of these a day, one a day, I'm an unhappy guy. Well, I think I want to start that uh, same practice too because it sounds excellent. Uh, the the Ecuadorian Sumatra is one of my all-time all favorite rappers. Love them, love them. Yeah, Ecuadorian Sumatra has that subtle sweetness to it that I like. I, you know, I smoke a lot of Connecticut's, I smoke a lot of Maduro's, I smoke everything, but I go back to the Sumatra wrappers. I've always been a fan of Sumatra. So where's your region that, that you're the rep for? You know what, I cover uh, basically the southeast here. I do Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, and North Carolina and South Carolina. I've been in the business now for about eight years. Uh, I've worked for some other maiden people in this business. <laughs> worked with Mr. Rocky Patel for a long time, great friend of mine. And uh, he really cut my teeth on this. I would never trade that education for anything. He's a, a very, very educated man in this business. We had Rocky on the show about a month ago, or, or close to, and he's a very nice guy. Let's you know up front just what he's there to sell. Yes, he does. <laughs> I can do the monotone if you like, but this is going to be on YouTube, so maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a great guy. Great, yes. great, great dresser, too. Yeah, absolutely. Marketing genius. That guy has taken you know a brand, which was a subtle brand. He's made it through the boom and the downfall after the boom, and he's reinvented himself many times. But what a, what a great guy and, and produces a great cigar. Uh, EO Brands is actually uh, Eddie Ortega and Eric Espinoza, a couple of gentlemen out of Miami, Florida who've been in the business for many years uh, in different facets for different companies. Um, but these guys really, really have a great relationship with Papine Garcia and the products that they're producing right now are second to none. Josh, tell me, what's the best thing about being a, a rep? You know what, I enjoy people, and, and the neatest part of this business is you get to meet so many different people. I mean, from every every race, every color, everybody, everybody. Everybody, when you sit down and enjoy a cigar, it, it's an experience. And when you can sit down and enjoy a cigar with other people, and you talk politics, and you talk this, and you talk that, but it's basically just camaraderie. When you can share camaraderie of a cigar with somebody, it, it's a wonderful thing, and to be able to do that for, for a living is, is wonderful. I bet you run across some people that you would never think I would actually smoke a c cigar, much less anything, and yet they wind up being 
the, the exact type of people, the exact type of people that would smoke them. Yeah, absolutely. Really, it, it's interesting. I like meeting newbies. You know, somebody who's new into cigar smoking for me, especially at events like we do, to introduce them to the different facets of the products. You know, a lot of people confuse things in cigars, especially when they're amateurs, they confuse flavor with strength, with this, with that. You know, somebody tells you all I smoke is mild cigars or all I smoke is this. You know, really educating people about tobacco and about the different facets of, you know, let's say it be a Connecticut, which can be completely mild, or a heavy Maduro, you know, double the hero type of cigar, which is going to knock you on your butt. You know, it, it's neat to kind of broaden people's horizons. When I first began to smoke, I, I always thought that to get the most flavor, I had to get the biggest, darkest wrapper that there was around. And in the 10 or 12 years or so that I've been smoking them, I've learned that a dark wrapper does not always translate into a, a harsh smoke. Yeah, you find this, you know, you really find that you can have a mild cigar, okay, that has tons of flavor. You know, it, it kind of has different dimensions, we call it. In traditional Cuban cigars, they call it peaks and valleys. A cigar starts off with a hint of spice, and then it'll mellow out, and then the spice comes back and gets you throughout the cigar. What I find that I like in cigars is cigars that have many dimensions. If I smoke something that's mild, and it's just straight, flat, mild all the way through, I don't get quite the enjoyment that I would if I smoke something that's mild and yet is full flavor. And the same thing goes for full-bodied cigars. When you smoke a full-bodied cigar and it's just strength, 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 to me that's not a smoking experience. I want to see full body, I want to feel full body, but I also want to have different dimensions and flavors in the cigar. What advice would you give to someone on YouTube that wants to take the plunge and start smoking but doesn't know where to start? You know what, I find that, you know, especially nowadays, the market is wonderful because there's so many boutique brands. There's so many good products on the market today. It's a great time for somebody to start smoking, to really delve into the different products in any humidor. You know, what I always say to somebody is go to somebody who is educated. You know, your local tobacconist, your brick and mortar tobacconist, those are the people that are educated. They're the ones that are gonna give you the quality advice you need as to what to smoke. You wouldn't be able, you know, if you're a, a mild cigar smoker, you might not enjoy this. Everybody's tastes are different. You know, you, you could have a person who, after eating a giant steak, can handle the fullest bodied cigar or the mildest cigar, and you got a guy who can't handle a mild cigar on an empty stomach or on a full stomach. So everybody's tastes and palates are different. Now I see you have an intruder sticking out of your pocket there. Yes, that is and the Miami Cigar Company. This is the Nestor Miranda cigar. You know, this is one of my favorite cigars right uh -huh. now. And this cigar has done so well for us. He's actually in the new year here going to introduce a Nestor Miranda cigar called Nestor Miranda Dominicano. And everybody watch for that cigar because it's going to be hot. It's going to be Aurora Tobaccos and it's going to be blended and produced by Pepin. So we're really excited about that. But this puppy right here, if you haven't tried that, Go to your local tobacconist, please pick it up. This is a great cigar. And the one you gave me? Yes. The cigar that I gave you there is the Leona Menes 300 series. Uh, this is produced from Miami Cigars. It is a Cameroon wrapper that's aged 300 days. So this cigar is actually aged 300 days after it's rolled. Aging process in cigars really makes a difference on how they smoke. You know, aging is fermentation. It's just like if you take a pile of grass and put it in the back of your yard, it ferments over time. Okay. Well, uh, Josh, thank you very much for spending some time with us here on YouTube. Uh, I've got a bunch of friends on YouTube that uh, like to have a good smoke every now and then. Put down the pipe and pick, and pick up a stogie. And uh, we really appreciate the input. We're, we're trying to learn as well as uh, sharpen our taste buds and everything. And I think you've uh, touched upon a good uh, bit, bit of uh, info there. Well, I appreciate you having me. I mean, this is a wonderful, you know, wonderful opportunity to share my information that I know, which is, uh, which is a good thing. Great. Well, Josh, thank you again so much. And once again, uh, this is Pipe Lawyer saying cheers. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.